Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Although I'm going to I'm, I'm going to ask you to keep your eyes open for this recording. So it might be a little bit silly <laughs> me asking you to only listen when you can safely close your eyes. However, because it's, you know, it's hypnosis. Uh, a lot of people would connect hypnosis with being unconscious, which it's not really necessarily about that. It's about focus and you can do stuff with your eyes open. But I just want to make sure that you don't listen to this when you're driving or anything like that. So only listen when you can safely close your eyes. There you go. Hope I covered that. Because safety, for your safety and your health has got to be number one above everything else. Okay. So we're going to do... It's not really a technique, but it is, you know, in a way, it's an exercise. It's something that you can do. You can give it whatever title you want. It's not going to take a long time. So this recording is not going to be very long. However, this is something that you can do every day. And I would advise doing it every day, Uh, especially... Or maybe not every day, maybe only when it comes, when you've got a level of stress, you know, in your body that's feeling uncomfortable. So that's it really, okay? So so I'll give you a little introduction to myself because... Uh, you may this may be the first time you've ever listened to me and I thought I'd just let you know a little bit about me I have been making podcasts for over 14 years as well as videos uh, online for hypnosis various different things the thing that I've focused most has been relaxation and sleep sleeping insomnia things like that i also do a lot of stuff i've done a lot of stuff for chronic pain and various other things and over the last few years i've been focusing more on the podcasts than the videos and the i have quite a few podcasts uh and this particular podcast you're listening to right now is one of my most popular ones out of the ones I've got so uh, yeah I also do let me bore you to sleep podcast which is an hour of me talking about nothing uh, the or more an hour, more than an hour and a half yesterday I've got the deep sleep whisper hypnosis recordings which last about 20 minutes and uh, hypnosis, uh, sleep hypnosis weekly, and a few others as well. So that's a little bit of introduction to me. I've been around a long time, doing this for a long time. And the reason I started this particular podcast is because I have, in the past, been on a... I've been on the panic slash anxiety journey. Uh, If you want to call it that, it's a bit of a weird term for it, but uh, I've been hugely affected by anxiety and stress over the years. And as I've learned more about it, I realised that I was being affected by it long before I was even aware. So, I got a little bit of experience of 
anxiety, stress and panic. And I've got a fair bit of experience of helping people with it as well. And that's what this is. So the introduction is possibly going to be nearly as long as the recording or the exercise. Because all I'm going to ask you to do is to... Perhaps I should have said this at the beginning. You need a mirror. You need a mirror for this. Although you could do it in your own mind and just imagine yourself in a mirror. That would be, I guess, the last resort as far as the actual exercise goes. But that is, that's an option. Ideally, a mirror that's big enough to show your body. You know, I'm going to ask you to sit down in front of the mirror. So maybe something like a bathroom mirror, you know. Uh, my bathroom mirror, it goes down as far as probably my shins when I'm standing up. And I can see it's about just a little bit higher than... Yeah, actually, I think when I stand back, I can see my whole of my body, apart from my feet. So I'm going to ask you to sit in front of a mirror, which shows, hopefully, the whole of your upper body, including your face, uh, you know, your upper body. So that's the first part. If you don't have a big mirror, you can use a small mirror. As long as you can see your face. And that's what we're going to be doing. So, before, I want, to, I want you to sit down in front of the mirror. Before you actually look at the mirror for any length of time, I want you to get in touch with how you're feeling. Now, I know that some people listening to this will already be feeling more relaxed. And that may well be because a lot of people listening to this would have already listened before and therefore associate my voice with a sense of feeling karma because of all the recordings that you've listened to previously. And I mean, some people will find just by thinking of listening to me, you know, by pressing the play button on the podcast or on your phone or wherever you, you know, pressing it, you can have that instant sense of comfort you know, like that relaxation is just all automatically spreading through your body. Which is, it's groovy, it's really cool. It's cool, man. And this is something else that you can do. So, I want you to focus on, with your eyes closed, I'd like you to focus on, on your stress levels. And for this, I'm going to ask you to do something that I wouldn't normally ask you to do. I mean, normally I ask you to focus on sense of comfort. Uh, you, you know, it's because hypnosis is about focus. It's about wrapping your mind around an idea and focus of attention. I'm going to ask you to focus on your feelings of stress just for the duration of this recording because that's the way that you can test the exercise working. I hope that makes sense. It's not about getting like the, you know, the most extreme thing that you can get. It's just noticing how you are. So as you've got your eyes closed, I want you to just, as I said, get in touch with that feeling. 
Notice how it feels in your body, because that's what it's about, really, in the sense of, of course, we feel it in our minds, we feel it there, but quite often it's it's the physical sensations that's really, really uncomfortable. It can be. So I just want you to judge what level it's at. Yeah, you know, ten being the worst, zero, zero being like nothing at all. I'd like you to get it to the point. It's at least a five, you know. If that means focusing on something that's unpleasant, again, I wouldn't normally say that. Nothing horrible, horrible, but just. Focusing on letting you just basically allow yourself to experience all of those feelings, whatever's really there. Don't don't try and push it away. Just allow it to be there. Allow those feelings that we label stress or anxiety or panic just to be there. And now I want you to open your eyes and just look in the mirror. And notice what you see. Okay, this might sound like a silly question. You might just say, you are seeing yourself, don't I? Yeah, you see yourself. But what are you looking at? And you could answer, yeah, I'm looking at myself. How long is this going to go on for? Well, yeah, you're looking at yourself. You're looking at a reflection of yourself. I mean, it's back to front as well, isn't it? So it's not, you look at your right eye, it's actually, you know, it's all kind of a bit, not how you would see yourself, necessarily. If you were looking at yourself, if you were like literally looking at yourself. So it's not yourself that you're looking at, it's a reflection. And you may think, yeah, what's the point? What are you, what are you, what are you going on about? And I can say, well, okay, fair enough. You're looking at a reflection of yourself. But that reflection doesn't have, doesn't have the ability to hold any feelings, any emotions, any physical feelings, doesn't naturally have those feelings. It's just an image. So what you're doing is you're looking at yourself, but the version of yourself that doesn't have those feelings of stress or anxiety or panic, it can't, it can't have that. It just doesn't, not naturally, it's just a reflection. But it's your image, it's you, without those feelings that you were experiencing a few moments ago. Just look at it, look at the image, you know, it doesn't have to be the case of just looking at your face, look at your, maybe look at your hands, maybe you want to move your hands around, if the mirror's big enough, I'm not saying that you've got huge hands, I'm just saying that, you know, if you've only got a tiny mirror, then maybe you can only fit your face in it, or you can only not fit your face, see your face, but maybe move your body around, maybe if you choose, you can Lift your legs up and just show your feet in the mirror. And when you do move your body gently, just a little bit, even if it's just to turn a little bit, maybe turn your head to the right and the left, maybe up and down, look at your, your reflection in the mirror at the same time. Your body feels different. Your 
but your body actually feels different. There's a calmness, a real grace in movement, that smooth movement. And as you look at that reflection, looking at yourself, you can associate with yourself because it's you. It's your, it's, it looks identical to you because it is your reflection. It's not like you can't, what else are you going to see but yourself? Hopefully. But there's no emotion in that image. There's no... It can't hold stress or anxiety or panic or pain. It doesn't... It can't hold that because it's just a reflection. It's not a magic mirror. It's just an ordinary mirror. And all it does is show you All it does is show you. Just your image. And how does that feel as you look at yourself in the mirror without any Stress without any anxiety, without any tension, without any of those words that we label those feelings that are unpleasant at times. And just notice how it feels, how you feel. background sound of Andre for some reason I think he wants his dinner so as you're looking at the mirror in the mirror what does it feel like how do you feel emotionally so That's really the exercise. Just to look in the mirror and see yourself, see your reflection. And apologies for background sounds. Andre's woken up and he's... For those that don't know, Andre is my my son. He's a ferret. He's my little boy bit unwell at the moment but when he wakes up he's wide awake and he likes to he likes to be heard which is a weird combination some kind of hypnosis technique and then having a ferret running around I know it's a bit weird but you won't get that anywhere else which in itself might be a good thing but at least you know this is genuine. I'm a genuine person. <laughs> Not that that really means anything. And um, as you look in the mirror, and this is something you can do, even when you just go to do a wee, or go to the toilet, go to wash your hands maybe in the bathroom and I, mean, I assume you've got a, a mirror in the bathroom I've got two actually um, one in the bathroom cabinet it's not because I want to look at myself because trust me I cover them over when I'm in the bath I can't do with that shock um, I like to imagine that I'm slim when I'm getting in the bath Unfortunately, the mirror lets me know otherwise. So you're looking in a mirror and you can see yourself. But it's just you. Without any added stuff. 
no added emotions, no added worries, just you, without that stuff. And one of the benefits of this is by spending some time, because you know, when you spend time with someone that's really calm, it it almost is unavoidable that that will have a calming effect upon you or me or whoever's with that person. May not be instant, but the more time you spend with them, the more relaxed you're going to feel because they're calming. And the same happens, I guess, if you're around someone that's very frenetic or very full of loads of loads of energy all the time, speaking really quickly. It can be, I guess, sort of a degree of excitement being around that person, maybe. Or other words that you could use. It's, it depends. So... The more often you look in the mirror and you look at yourself and you spend time with yourself, but that you in the reflection doesn't have any of this, these feelings, and there's no negativity there at all, not one splat negativity, not one little dribble of negativity anywhere to be seen or felt. And to look at yourself, to look at that version of you, that looks exactly how you look right now, you know, as far as it's your reflection. So that's really the whole thing. And it's something that you can do as often as you choose. But it's a calming exercise because you're spending time with yourself, but a version of yourself that doesn't have any of that internal baggage, doesn't have any of those uh, feelings of discomfort or, you know, any of that stuff. It's just, I guess, just a calm version. And you can see yourself how you look when you don't have any of that stuff going on internally and you can start to notice that the face of calmness as you look becomes calmer ultimately that's your face you know and you start to take on that posture of feeling relaxed and calm feeling loose and comfortable. So give it a go, see how you feel. And as I said, uh, apologies for Andre running around and making a bit of bit of noise near the end. I've actually got him in my I've got him in my arms now, I'm holding him. Just stroking him to hopefully keep him quiet. So, thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. You gonna say goodbye, Andre? Just give me kisses. So, say goodbye, Andre, to everybody. Say thank you for listening. And do remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.